Hello there, sorry from 17 once again. This is more E3 coverage. This time I'm going to be discussing Bloodborne, the announced name for the Project Beast working title, the next FromSoft game exclusive to the PlayStation 4 and apparently coming out in 2015. Which I think is 2015, it could be 2014, but I think it's 2015. I'm sure somebody will correct me on that or I'll put something in the description. I'm kind of flying blind here, guys. I was going to go over the trailers, but a lot of the trailers don't really have anything worth saying, which is the reason why I uploaded them. I'm going to try and find gameplay for a lot of these things to pop in the background, but for a title such as this where gameplay just simply doesn't exist unless you use the leaked stuff I've already used, then it's probably best to just wax poetic and uh, just go for it like this. So what do we know about this game? Judging from what we've seen so far, it looks very dark, it looks very atmospheric, it looks macabre, it looks like it's got a focus on the whole, you know, Victorian-esque, gothic architecture. A lot of people are throwing around the term London because it looks, you know, very cobblestone and Jack the Ripper-esque. And the name Bloodborne, uh, thanks to someone on Twitter, informed me that it's in relation to a pathogen and the way that works. So, it's obviously going to be... Do some kind of virus that's eradicated, you know, sane people in this place, and you, for whatever reason, are there trying to do your thing and either kill them, survive, or get to end goal, whatever that foreseeably could be. You have a gun, which is big news, and the gun seems to be, you know, kind of a big thing. You also have this fold out machete thing, which I don't know what it reminds me. It reminds me of something, but it's on the tip of my tongue and I can't quite get there. So, you're kind of dual wielding this gun and this giant blade, and what I read from some of the hands-on on the game, there is no block. What they want with this title so far, or what the, the intention is, is for it to be a slightly faster paced action game. A lot of people are saying it's like Demon Souls, but faster, but I think comparing it to a Souls game is a mistake at this point. I think it's going to wear its influence as well, but I think it, that's all. It's going to be an entirely new entity, and entirely different. And, that way I think it benefits because it doesn't have the restrictions of what a soul game means. So no block immediately tells me that I'm going to have a lot of fun with this game because it's going to hopefully reward players who get good at dodging. It's going to have an emphasis on mobile aggressive combat rather than the defensive style that you see in a lot of Dark Souls and Demon Souls videos. So that sounds really really cool. They've also mentioned that it is going to be RPG in nature, you aren't going to play a main character, you're going to create one, you're going to find armor, you're going to find weapons, you're going to be able to customize him, all that kind of you know, progressive stuff that we've seen in previous Souls games is making a, an appearance. But aside from that, there doesn't seem to be that much information. A lot of the booths at E3 that were playing it on, I don't know if you saw them, they were behind a big banner and you, could, you couldn't see any screens whatsoever unless you went inside, so they're obviously really, really strict on, on the gameplay. There's no direct capture allowed uh, for, for any of the you know, press at this moment in time. People have played it, people have had hands-on, so the closest you're going to be able to be when it comes to knowing what it feels like is by searching YouTube for these people that are saying, you know, oh, it's like this, it's like that, it's... And there's a lot of, it's like Demon Souls, it's like Dark Souls getting thrown around, which, I mean, at this point, it's probably difficult not to it being Miyazaki's next project, but so far, everything I've seen, I think it's going to be an entirely different entity completely, and I'm happy for that, I really am, and don't get me wrong, I love the Soul series, but at this point, it looks like they could almost have two teams, you know, the, the team that made the games you love have now gone on to Bloodborne, and then the people who made Dark Souls 2, which in its own right is a great game, are probably going to go on to make more Souls games, and, and that franchise could exactly become that. It could be like a, an Assassin's Creed, and unfortunately the quality will suffer. So, it's kind of worrying that what I would... I'm not going to say A team and B team, because I think it's extremely insulting on the people who made Dark Souls, but... Maybe the more experienced people who, you know, from put on their most expensive projects because Dark Souls 2 had to be cheaper than Dark Souls because they weren't building anything, you know. It was a different engine, it was new assets, but for the most they already had a lot of the things that they wanted. They are, I mean, look at some of the destructible stuff in the scenery. It's directly from Dark Souls 1, you know. They had a lot of 
flexibility to focus on the game they wanted to make rather than building an entire game because they already had this fantastic reservoir of of, of ideas to, to pick and choose from. But with something like Bloodborne, especially when it's on new architecture, it's on PS4, it's going to be all new, all money and, and you know, making assets creating games is an expensive process and that's where all the money is going to go so you know you might even find out when the game comes out that one of the reasons why Dark Souls 2 wasn't the game you wanted it to be was maybe because a lot of the focus and the money was going towards this new IP who knows and I'm just hoping it's good it looks interesting the gameplay that leaked looked nice and it's Miyazaki man when has he ever put a step wrong Aside from maybe Armored Core and all that other stuff, but... <laughs> I'm excited, and you should be too. Because there's going to be some information coming up in the next few months. Maybe at Gamescom. That might elucidate just exactly what this game is going to be. Because right now, it's hype, it's excitement, it's gothic, and that's really all. So thank you for watching, and you take care now.